Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a special video to review a figure I picked up at JoeCon this year. Uh, this figure was being handed out for free at the Joe Declassified booth at JoeCon in Florida, uh, and so I picked up actually several of these. Uh, each of my family members got one, uh, and I wanted to take a look at this because this is a special figure. This is a tribute figure to a member of the G.I. Joe fan community who passed away a few years ago. Gary Head, also known as Gary Goggles. I did not know Gary personally, other than a handful of interactions online. He was always friendly enough to me. Uh, it was my intention to meet up and talk with him at the 2015 JoeCon, but his death before then intervened, so I never had the chance to meet him in person. Gary contributed a lot to the G.I. Joe community through the group Joe Declassified. He really opened up and revealed a lot of the history of the toy line. Later in 2015, Hasbro paid tribute to Gary through an action figure, one of the 50th anniversary figures, Sightline, which was available through the Silent Strike set. The file name for Sightline was Gary Goggles. The Sightline figure is in a gray digital camouflage, which fits with the motif of the rest of the Silent Strike set. Uh, it's got some black and red on it. It's really a pretty good looking figure, especially if you like modern G.I. Joe action figures. What Joe Declassified did at the 2017 JoeCon is create a vintage O-ring style Sightline figure. It imagines what Sightline would have looked like if he had been released as a 1980s G.I. Joe figure. This is a convention exclusive figure, but they were not allowed to sell this figure, so they were just giving them away if you stopped by the Joe Declassified booth. And it came with a couple versions of his file card. Looking at the figures side by side, I get the translation. You have the light gray and dark gray color scheme. You have some red and black. You have the old style digital camouflage that we got on the 80s G.I. Joe figures. Uh, it's a pretty good translation of a modern figure into a vintage O-ring style figure. I think they did a good job. Let's look at the accessories that Sightline came with. And a word of warning about these accessories, uh, they all seem a little bit delicate. Uh, I was not able to fit the rifle grip in the figure's hand for fear of breaking the figure or the rifle. Also, the backpack required a little mounting putty to stay on the back. So just be cautious about that if you're thinking of displaying this figure. Just be careful with the accessories. They do seem a little fragile. His rifle is a gray version of the rifle that came with the 1989 recoil. Of course, recoil's rifle was in uh, light blue, and I, I like this gray color a lot more than the original. That light blue color on the original, I always hated that, uh, but this gray version is not a bad version. You might uh, get one of these rifles and give it to recoil. That would actually look better on that figure. There was a gray version of the Sightline rifle that came with Steel Brigade. Uh, so a quick comparison between the Sightline rifle and the Steel Brigade rifle. The Sightline rifle is maybe slightly darker, or it may be more of a blue-gray as opposed to the Steel Brigade's charcoal gray. Sightline has a backpack, and it is a gray version of the backpack that came with the 1983 Airborne and some other figures. Uh, and it looks good in gray. It is a faithful copy of the original. But like I said, I did have to add some mounting putty in order to keep it on the figure. Sightline has a helmet and visor, and it is a copy of the old 1982 standard helmet and visors that we got on figure such as Flash. Of course, uh, they're in different colors, and that's a solid red visor as opposed to the transparent visor on Flash. The visor clips onto the helmet, and you can pull it off uh, carefully because, as I said, these uh, accessories seem to be a little bit fragile. Uh, then he has a standard G.I. Joe-style helmet, which can be removed. Sightline has the articulation that was standard for G.I. Joe figures up through 1984, meaning he has a swivel head, uh, universal joint at the shoulder, a hinge at the elbow, and a swivel at the bicep. A uh, figure is held together with an O-ring that allows some movement at the torso. Uh, legs move apart forward and bend at the knee. Let's look at the parts used for Sightline. His head comes from Snake Eyes, uh, but with a painted red and silver goggles, and I really like that look. Uh, and it's a pretty good representation of the modern figure. I think that's a nice translation, uh, and I do like the head very much. The chest and arms come from the 1983 swivel arm version of Flash and Grand Slam. Good use of parts there.
there. I actually think I like these pads in the gray more than I like them in the original orangey red. The waist piece comes from the 1982 and 1983 Cobra Soldier and other figures. That waist piece was reused several times. The legs and boots come from the 1983 Airborne figure and I like these legs on Airborne because I like the knee pads, I like the boots. So again, a really nice reuse of parts. Getting a close up look at this figure, I think they did a good job. It is a really nice figure. It's not perfect. The paint mask on that belt is a little bit sloppy, but overall I think they did a really good job with it. I like the silver plastic on the legs. It just gives it a really cool effect. Uh, I like the color scheme. I like the use of parts. Uh, and this is, you know, for a custom figure that's trying to translate a modern figure uh, into a vintage figure. Just really well done and uh, a really fitting tribute to uh, Gary Head. As I said, it came with a couple versions of the file card. One is a classic vintage style file card and it's done in the style of a mail away file card. I won't read the entire text to you, but it does say up here, the name Gary Goggles does identify a known missed person. Uh, it has uh, like a red back, uh, similar to the mail away file cards, but it has the Joe Declassified logo on it. The other file card is done in trading card style with the full artwork on one side and a copy of the file card text on the back. In summation, I love this figure. I was not expecting to get it at Joe Con. I didn't know they would have them available, and so when I found out that they had them, I had to get one. I was thrilled to get it. I think it's a really nice figure all on its own, but also an excellent excellent tribute to one of our community who has passed away. I was impressed that Hasbro thought enough of Gary to do their tribute to him, and Joe Declassified has followed up with this excellent figure uh, that really complements the modern sightline figure. That was my short review of the 2017 G.I. Joe Con sightline figure. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you to everyone who contributes to this community. Posthumous thanks to Gary Head for all he has done, and thank you to Joe Declassified. There is only one more Joe Con left. 2018 will be the last Joe Con. It is my plan to be there. I hope to see all of you there too. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.